Toda, CQ Toda. Okay, so it might be starting another project. <laughs> and up on my roof, there's an old satellite TV dish. And I don't want the dish per se. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go up and see if I can't take the dish down. What I wanna do is take the dish off the mounting bracket that's mounted to the pull up there. Um, that mounting bracket has the ability to, you know, turn left and right and up and down. I'm thinking about trying to mount a solar panel onto that bracket and then I can take the bracket back up and, and mount it on the roof. And I think that would work really well. Um, there's already a hole where the, uh, the coax goes into the house, so I could just cut the coax off, pull it through, and pull through wires for a solar panel. So I would have some permanent solar power in my shack. Maybe, uh, I'm only gonna use a 50 watt panel for now, that's what I have. But I might be able to run my shack off of solar and battery and not use any grid power. Um, now that it's summer, that's probably gonna be a little bit easier to do, but I think it might be a neat experiment and uh, something to do, something to have as a backup. So I'm gonna go up on the roof here and uh, try to get the old dish off the pole. Hopefully there's no wasps or anything like that up there. Um, I throw in this uh, cheap tool belt um, so I don't have to carry tools in my hands. So I'm gonna take a bunch of uh, wrenches and crescent wrenches and stuff like that up there. And let's see if we can't uh, get it taken care of. Do, do, do. I really don't like going up on the roof, but... Oh. Like I said, I'm not afraid of heights. It's that sudden stop at the bottom when you fall is what gets to me. So, so let's take a look here. See, look at this. Look at this mount. This is a pretty nice mount. And if I unbolt this clamp, disconnect the cables, I should be able to take that completely off. And then I could figure out then how to mount a solar panel to this later on. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't know where the cables go up through there, but uh, looks like they're connected there and there. So I can disconnect the cables there and then uh, see if we can't do this. So let's see if I can position the camera. Oh, look at that. So. Oh, these come right off. At least this one is. But that is a pretty nice mount. And I'm not near the edge of the roof here. Um, there's a lower... <laughs> there's a lower roof that goes down much further. So there's two more wires down here. These wires are toast, they're all crispy. There's one. Oh, come on. So far so good. Okay. Okay, so I got the wires disconnected. Oh, you get out of the woods. <laughs> this is going to be easy. I thought this might, well. I shouldn't speak too soon. I still gotta come up with a way to mount the solar panel to this. Maybe some aluminum brackets that go across the solar panel. Those look pretty flush.
Okay, so now. Oh. Sometimes things just go your way. So now I just gotta get this down onto the ground from up here. It shouldn't be too bad. Just noticed the gutters need cleaned again. That sucks, it's a pain in the butt. Well, I'm gonna put the camera down so I can get off the roof safely. So I got this off. And now I'm just trying to take the parts off to see if, uh, see how, if it'll work. But so far, it looks pretty good. Now, this mount is pretty nice actually. It's got measurements on it, so you can adjust the angle uh, in two places, plus it has this big tilt uh, elevation thing. So, I think this is gonna work better than I thought it was. I'll just have to come up with a way to mount the solar panel onto this dish, onto the bracket. We haven't had satellite TV in years since fiber was brought to the house. When we first moved in here, we had DSL, and I think it was two meg DSL maybe, one and a half, something like that. And then it went to three, and then it went to, I think six, it went up. And that's when I was able to start working from home. And then, They came one year and said, do you want fiber at the house? And I said, sure. Uh, I got a notice asking if I wanted fiber, a, a letter. So I called them to say, yeah, I wanted it. And they said, oh, I'm sorry, it's not in your area yet. And I think a year went by and I got another letter saying, oh, do you want fiber? And I called them and said, is this for real or are you just pulling my leg again? And they said, oh, no, we'll put it in. So they scheduled it for about a month later. And the day before... The trucks were out on the street running the fiber. So my street didn't have fiber on it. They ran fiber onto my street. I was the first customer to have fiber on the street. There's not that many houses on this road, so it's kind of shocking. And they came from the furthest way down the hill. So they came about a mile down the road, maybe a half mile down the road, and ran fiber up to here. So I get uh, 50 meg up and 50 meg down, which for being out in the middle of the boonies, it's awesome. So, so now... There's a nice little wasp nest. So let me grab my solar panel and just take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is my uh, Renogy 50 watt solar panel. And I think all I'll need to do is come up with a couple of cross braces that go from here to here, some aluminum cross braces. And once I put those on, and I can take this back up and mount it, but uh, I think this is going to work. So I got to see, I don't think I have any aluminum that will reach across here, but I'll get some uh, heavy aluminum, drill holes in it, mount it to this, 
maybe even do an extra support across the corner or something like that um, to try to hold it steady. And uh, I'll keep all the hardware that's here. I might be able to reuse some of this hardware and mount that to this and see. But if it works, then I'll be able to, you know, uh, run solar in the shack. I'll get some more of the cables to run down into the shack. And uh, I think that'll be good. I think that'll be a, a nice, neat project. Now, I'm, sh I'm sure they might make a pull bracket, uh, something already to mount these on a pull. Um, but I'd really like to try to reuse this. Uh, right now, I'm just going to take some notes. That is 21 and a quarter inches that way. And 24 and three quarters that way. So, notebook. Everybody should have a notebook. For projects like this. Put it after my poda log for today. It's Twenty-three and three quarter. Where's the other one? Twenty-one and a quarter. Sure. 21 and a quarter. So when I get to the hardware store, I don't have to try to remember what I what I was doing. So so we'll see how this works out. Uh, hopefully, we'll make a neat little project and. Uh, thing i don't know how sturdy this is going to be so that's 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 my only concern but i think if i put a plate it might be better if i just put a plate over the whole back of it and just cover the whole back and then bolt through it that way but yeah i think if i put a couple of cross pieces um i think that'll work but hey thanks for joining me on this new project we'll see how it goes the next time at the hardware store i'll get the pieces um, and it really shouldn't take me that long to put this together and get that uh, back up on there, but we'll see. This is Tango Oscar Mike, 73. Take care. Tango Oscar Mike.